Okay, people, today we're testing out the uh, HD Zero 3.5 discus. It seems to fly, so hopefully it doesn't do anything bad. I tested it in the house a bit. The motors don't seem hot. We're good to go. Let's do this. So every time I start flying with uh, HD Zero, I always have to put the camera back to this mode because it always starts in the 90 thing and that doesn't work. I'm not grading the footage because I want you guys to see how dark it was. I still sped up the boring parts a bit and cut it a bit. And brave little kid. She said she was fine. She's wearing pants, so. Definitely feels way better on the uh, 3.5s. It just has a lot more authority, a lot more control, a lot more locked in. At the same time, it doesn't have the weight of my other 3.5. <laughs> so I took a few hits today and it's totally fine. The booties, the bumpers on the arms, I call them booties, but they're doing a great job. I still don't know how to do a trippy spin properly, but eventually I'll be able to. It's freezing cold, so I'm only flying about one or two packs when I go fly. I am trying to fly every day, but just trying to get a pack in here or there. It's just bloody cold, so it takes away from the smoothness. I've broken a lot of drones on this doorway. <laughs> But I keep going through it. I'm really happy with this drone. It's just gonna take me a while to really like connect with it and get used to the weight and the movement. I always say that you have to take that time and fly and fly and fly until you feel connected with the drone. And that's why it's so important to have a drone that flies very well before making that connection with them you know it's like a relationship first you make sure that person is like decent before you try dating them and it's the same thing with the drone if the drone flies like crap you don't want a relationship with it or at least i don't it's so smooth it just does what you tell it to Locked in, baby. My battery heater, I think, is working well, too. Oh my god, look, the last half of that flight was like this. <laughs> Yo, 3.5 is so much better. It's a little bit, like, floaty, but it's sick. I'm so tempted to get HD Zero goggles now. I want to do the 90 hertz camera. Because <laughs> there, see, I forgot to set it up again. So the bloody have to take it out of that mode. This spot is really cool. I really like it. HD Zero is so impressive, like, for how far it goes on. I don't feel like I need the 1 watt. This little Whoop VTX does everything I need and it's nice and light. I will have to put an action cam on this. But the footage isn't that bad. It's really fun. Finally now gonna be able to really kind of push this drone because I feel comfortable with it. It takes such a long time to like get the configuration and everything just right. So happy with this though.
trying to practice my Maddie flips too. And um, <laughs> yeah, I'm used to doing them now with the boot, but I'm not used to doing them with the drone. So the next two years are going to be just flying almost every day and getting really good at it. That's my goal for uh, always been a six year plan. <laughs> Two years designing, two years flying, and then two years getting good work. Now this configuration feels really good on 3S. I feel like if I was flying my 4S right now, it would have more power and more authority, but it would also probably have broke when I smashed it into the um, metal doorway. But then at the same time, I have bumpers now. I never had bumpers before, so I always broke motors or cracked my frame. And now, it seems really bloody solid because it's nice and light, but it also has that protection. <laughs>